First loosen the x-axis belt tensioner. Remove the screw that fixes the y-axis motor plastic part. And keep the screw for later use. Then remove the hand twisted nut that fixes the heated band. Take the heated band down and put it aside for later use. Be sure to collect the springs and hand twisted nuts under the heated band and do not lose them. Remove the two ends of the Y-axis belt from the slider plate. Then remove the entire Y-axis motor assembly. Remove the slider plate from the Y-shaped profile. And disassemble the screws and four POM wheels on it. Fix the M410 screws and M40 nuts to the rail connector. Fix the rail connector with screws onto the Y-shaped profile, as close to the motor as possible. You can use the Y-axis motor assembly to compare, but only fix one side first. Fix the linear guide rail onto the rail connector using M36 screws. But only fix one side first and do not tighten the screws. Then position the other rail connector based on the installation holes on the linear guide rail.
60 M316 screw, M3 nut, and limit switch bracket, printed part, onto the designated position of the slider fixing plate. There is only one, and the screw should be facing towards the Y limit switch. Then fix the slider fixing plate onto the slider using M36 screws. Use the screws removed in step 2 to fix the Y-axis motor assembly in place. And connect the Y-limit switch cable and Y-motor cable. Fix the slider plate to the slider fixing plate using M58 screws. Making sure to secure the side with the smaller holes first. Secure both ends of the Y-axis timing belt to the slider plate and adjust the tension of the Y-axis timing belt. Reassemble the heated bed plate, spring and hand twist nut onto the slider plate. 